Hello, my name is Mike from Motionmer Technologies and I'll be showing you how to use OpenOffice today. First, we're going to look at a couple of different ways you can open OpenOffice. See this icon right here? Right click on it. It has a menu which allows you to choose which application you would like to run. We're going to choose text document. I'm now going to type a few things to show you how similar Microsoft Word is to OpenOffice Writer. Notice how I misspelled the word misspelled and it underlined it just like it does in Microsoft Word. Right click on it to allow you to select the correctly spelled word and it will change it for you, just like Microsoft Word. I'm now going to show you another way that you can open OpenOffice from your desktop using the icon that you chose during installation. If you did not choose to install a desktop icon, you do not have to open it this way. If you open off the desktop you'll see this menu. It has all the applications that you can access from this menu as well as from this menu. I'm going to select presentation or open office impress. Just like PowerPoint I can select templates and I can select a different background. OpenOffice comes with different backgrounds just like PowerPoint does. And as you can see, it is very similar to PowerPoint. The only thing that's different is if you try to install plugins that are made for PowerPoint, they will not work on OpenOffice.org and Press. But most people do not need to do this. I'm going to discard this. I'm now going to show you OpenOffice.org's database application, or OpenOffice.org base. You can access it by clicking Database or Start Menu, OpenOffice.org, and OpenOffice.org Base. I'm going to create a new database so that you can see a little bit about what this application does. This application is basically like Microsoft Access. It allows you to create a comprehensive database application to manage money, names, phone book, etc. To go about creating this application, you would first have to create a table. I'm going to use the wizard to show you the easiest way. See, you can manage assets, events, orders, contacts, expenses, etc. You can use this wizard to choose business or personal, meaning business category, which contains things for business use, or personal, like expenses. We're going to click on personal and we're going to click on library. Now we're going to create a miniature library database, which we would do by selecting all of these and inserting them into our table. Then we would have to go about creating a form so that we could enter this information that needs to be required to be entered into the database. I'm going to create it using the same wizard program that I used before.
I'm not going to go too detailed with this application because it would take a long time to teach. For right now, we're going to close this, discard the database, and go on to the next section. You're looking at OpenOffice.org Calc, the spreadsheet application that comes with OpenOffice.org. You can do anything in Calc that you can do in Excel. It even supports Sheets, and what Excel does not support directly is exporting as PDF. In fact, if you wish to save a chart based on any data, you could export it directly as PDF and bring it anywhere you want. We're going to discard this. You're now looking at OpenOffice.org Draw, which is an application which can be used to publish, as well as create drawings, flowcharts, etc. When you're done, you can save it as an open document or create a PDF. For more advanced publishing applications, check out Scribus, available at SourceForge.net. Scribus is a publishing application which is available as open source and allows more direct PDF output. Now we're going to look at the formula program, OpenOffice.org Math, pretty much as a graphic calculator. As you can see, it has all the formulas that are pre-set up for you. For more on that application, look at OpenOffice.org help files. And for more on OpenOffice, check out OpenOffice.org. This is a basic tutorial which was laid out to show you the features of OpenOffice. For more training and for more help, visit Moshimer.com.